I just learned something the other day. It was real bad news, and it really fucking pissed me off, and I think I want to voice it right now. Please. The forum is yours. Uh, basically, and I'm not talking about the whole country. But I'm talking about one theater in particular. Oh, you sound nervous about this. Well, it's a big fucking deal. All right, go All ahead. Right. Go ahead. All right, so uh, we were going to play at the Cinerama Dome right. on the 25th. We okay. were going to open there and play there exclusively for two weeks. And Star Wars was going to play the two weeks before us. And I always, I mean... The, I grew up in Los Angeles, so I think of the Cinerama Dome as a real big deal, and imagine seeing it at the Cinerama Dome. Means something to you. Exactly. Right. Disney, who owns Star Wars, yes. decided, well, you know what? Maybe we want to play throughout the entire holiday season. Oh. And not, you know, uh, uh, so we're going to go to the Cinerama Dome and say that they can't honor their contract right. with us to show the hateful eight. And the arc like people that own the Cinerama Dome said, no, 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 we, you can't do that. We, we have a deal with right. uh, the Hateful Eight people. And, and showing it in 70, that's what we do. You know, we, we have the 70 million projectors. Right. They didn't have to move them in. Right. That's the thing. We even start off with the Cinerama logo right. at the beginning. As of yesterday, Disney came to the arc like people and said, no. Wow. You are going to play Star Wars in the Cinerama Dome for the entire holiday season. And if you don't, if you honor your deal with the Hateful Eight, we will not allow you to have Star Wars, the biggest movie in the world. We will not allow you to show it at any of your arc like movie theaters. Oh. Oh so, in your mind, that's petty because they've got a big blockbuster on their hands. They've they got don't the need biggest. To movie in the world. We're talking about one effing theater. They're, they are going out of their way to fuck me. Quentin, in all f uh, fairness, I must say, uh, there's nobody from Disney here to refute that or to say... No, but as far as, it, I, no, as, as, I as, 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 far, as far as I'm concerned, then let all the entertainment reporters call up Disney as of now and ask for their comments about their extortionist practices. Listen, Bob. I'm talking to Bob Iger. I don't give a shit about this theater. <laughs> Quentin's a weirdo. <laughs> Sorry, Quentin. <laughs> the, the fucking kid, they got the, the stupid 70 millimeter. They got all that shit that he cares about. He just wants to show his goddamn movie there. You got, you're sitting on top of the world. You got Star Wars. What, 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 what do you need this? Do me a favor, Bobby, for me. And you know we've had many private conversations. I, I fucking partied with this mm -hmm. guy over at Jimmy Kimmel's house. Bobby. It would be gracious. Be a gracious man. I want Quentin to show this new movie. He's worked his ass off. He wants the equipment. Hey, Filet, would you do it for me? All right? Christmas. It's Christmas. Christ's sake. <laughs>